Victoria. I was born in Victoria, went to school, raised. Um, I am a concerned citizen. There are so many issues that we face in this country. We got a lot of problems. We got a lot of problems that we need solutions. What is going on and what does it all mean? What's happening with our government? School and hospital cutbacks. Disappearing middle class. Tidal waves of home foreclosures. Financial chaos. Debt problems, slot meters, aspartame, fluoride, banking fraud, which was a uh, fractional reserve banking system. A lot of people are not making enough money. We have dams on almost every river. Suppressed technology, hidden alternative energy, industrial agriculture is going to fail us. Fractional reserve banking. Chemtrails, stratospheric, aerosol, geoengineering, the aerosol spraying program. See the children walking down the street. Breathing this poison aluminum dioxide. We're breathing in poison right now by deploying aerosols from jet aircraft to KC-135 and 110 military aircraft. Do the research. It, it is a chemtrail. 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 We live in a disposable society. We don't own people, we rent people. And now we're coming to a place where people are disposable. And that's just f***ing wrong. Human beings are not property. Greedy oil companies. Our kids are being poisoned. Suppressed health cures. Our women are being poisoned. Chemical food additives. Where the f are the men in this country? <laughs> GMO food, forced vaccination, insane pharmaceutical corporations. Over 600 military bases around the world. A lot of people are not getting enough to eat. Seven wars going on right now. Wars that we shouldn't be in. There's another war we never had a vote on, never had a voice in. Afghanistan. Our landfills are just getting inundated with crap. Even if it's not okay to own somebody, it's okay to rent somebody. And we are oppressed, every single one of us here today. Iraq, Libya are not getting basic needs. Billion dollar bailouts and politicians. The largest religion in the world is not Christianity or Islam. It is the worship of money. Yemen, Bahrain, Somalia. Does anyone know about that? It's backwards, it's upside down, it's inside out. We want equality in a healthy environment, not fighter jets in more prisons. Our country was prospering. In one afternoon, they start borrowing money from a private bank, killed our economy. These bankers have seized the power to issue national currency across the globe. The last four years, we paid them $143 billion. They're spending $160 million every day on interest. You know, we're completely wasting an opportunity by throwing good money after bad. It's killed our economy. Killed us. What's going on here? Like, where was everybody on this? Because people don't know what's going on. Barely anyone seems to realize what's going on. You can't have slavery anymore. Why do none of our elected politicians talk of a plan of having no national debt? You can't have slavery anymore. So we're being fooled again. We're being hacked. We're leaving them nothing but debt because these guys are all in bed together with criminals. And this is a government that's supposed to serve and protect? <laughs> Everything about them is corrupt. It is impossible to have continual profits and economic growth on a finite planet with limited resources. How do we plan on feeding our children's and our grandchildren's future? Uh, do we see a problem here? Is there a problem? They'll extract fossil fuels with no regard for climate change and the rivers and forests and people who are being poisoned. These people think absolutely nothing about you. People in Fort Chippewan are being poisoned so Alberta tar sands can continue as business as usual. None of this land belongs 
to anybody. We belong to it. Truth isn't determined by votes, and democracy has sort of been a scam since day one. It is because they are representative. It just seems like they may not be representing us. These men are not working for us. They work for their special interest groups at our cost. Yeah, there's a problem. The problem is we're not getting the proper information to make intelligent decisions to try to improve our society. Look at my furrows of worry and my big bank account and my family. This has just got to be real. Uh, we've had enough. We need a plan B now. Jobs are not more important than doing what's right. Our past has been filled with corruption and violence. Is that the Canada we teach our children about? We need more people to stand up. This isn't enough. This isn't enough people. Why aren't we back to Douglas Street? We need everybody here. This crowd should be all the way up to the damn Centennial Square. But we need to start talking about it more to our families and everything. And I'd like to talk to the police here and the military. What the hell are you doing, guys? Who pays your wages? Throws your food? Looks after you when you're ill? Teaches your children? Gonna look after you in your old age? We do, the people. We're the ones you're supposed to be supporting. We're the people that bloody love you, not this bullshit behind us. They didn't give a damn about you. We outnumber them nearly 100,000 to one in Canada alone. I call the police and military to join the people. And we'll throw these bloody bastards out. And that's how you end it. Everybody should be out here. Stand up for your women and children, for Christ's sake. Any social movement, whether it be to abolish slavery, gay marriage, women's rights, has started from the ground up by people like you. It's good that everybody's here, everybody's starting to wake up. It's not every day we get together to be able to do this. We have an opportunity here, as we've come together, to look for solutions. So how do we fix it? It's not that difficult. We can change it. There's a lot you can do. There are solutions that are peaceful, completely voluntary. What are we going to tell them when they say that we want more because we don't have enough? We can say no. No! no. What the hell? No! Fucking rights. Everybody should stand up for themselves. Stand up for your rights and be heard. Yeah. Lose your fears and stand up. Get involved. Stand up. Get involved and educate others. Wake up your family members. Putting our differences aside. Talking about it more to our families and everything. We always have a choice. Because we've evolved. As human beings, we all know that human beings are not property. The quality of, you, your, of human life is not dependent on the size of your wallet. We can evolve. We can evolve, people. Let's get on with it. We've just got to do this. We've got to do it every day. We will just have to work on a daily basis to make this happen. It means questioning things. Do the research. Do the research. Yeah. You've got to go around the mainstream media. We need to reevaluate our values. We need to stop corporate influence and lobbyists on our government. I'm not talking about rights. I'm talking about balance. I'm talking about restoring that balance in how we live. We can have a better society, we can have a humane society, we can have a future, we can live in peace. We all need to lead by example. And as humanity finding a better way to live and a better way to relate with each other. Like the loving vibration will prevail. Anyway, my solution is that the government creates its own money. That the banks are no longer allowed to create money through the fractional reserve system. And three, that we spend that government-created money into circulation on necessary infrastructure, health care, education, roads, whatever. If you want to start right away, take all your money out of all the five big banks, go to your local credit unions. They're owned by the people, by you. You are the money power. Invest in your future, invest in yourself, please. We are the 99%. Our land, this is our province, this is our country, and these are all of our people together. We can change the system. So we're in this together, we're all in this together. This is the beginning of something big in this world. We've got to keep the positive energy going and... Show our youth the path to a sustainable future. Be 
the change you want to see in the world. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. God bless you. It's good to see everybody here. Thank you, everybody. Have a good day. Thanks very much. Thank you, folks. Thank you for the time. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 The final word, final word uh, to paraphrase Margaret Mead is that it's silly to think that a small group of dedicated people can't change the world because in fact, that's the only thing that ever has. Thank you.